What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going over things that need to be fixed in NBA 2K21 My Team. And honestly, guys, this might be a long video. It's a rant. I don't want to be negative, but this is what needs to be fixed. We're going to go over every single aspect in this game right now. Okay, so we're going to go over everything. I hope you guys will enjoy this video because, man, this is straight facts, okay? We're going to go over a lot of things in this video. This is sort of a RAM video, and honestly, we're just going to get right into it. So let's start off with pack odds, okay? Because this is just terrible, okay? These pack odds, they need to be fixed, and I'm going to tell you why. So if you think about it, man, they're, first off, they don't show pack odds. That's number one, okay? They do not show anywhere nowhere there is no pack odds the only only place we've seen pack odds they were on what's it called the only place we saw pack odds were on twitter okay there is no picture proof of pack odds now me myself and i i use my mt my hard-earned mt flipping the auction on probably 400k worth of packs no lie i spent so much mt on packs and i really didn't get anything I'm talking about out of every 10 packs, I probably pulled an Amethyst or a Diamond. I did not get Manu. I probably spent 300k on Manu. The Manu packs, I did not get them. Here's my lineup. Okay. Now, we're going to go over things. We're going to go over a couple things. Okay. Okay. So, this is what I want to talk about. So, okay. Pack odds. They're terrible. That's number one. Number one, these pack odds are not good. They are not fire whatsoever. Okay. So, now, let's get into more stuff. So, okay. Let's go into domination. Okay, these are the biggest waste of a grind ever. Okay, why do I say this? I did it. I finished all time. Yes, you give me credit. Big grind. These rewards are so trash. These rewards right here are outdated like that. Okay, that's number one. These rewards are outdated. The, for instance, man, Rolando Blackman is not even a good card. Nick Van Axel is not a good card. Not only that, not only that, man, the difficulty on these games, these games are too hard. The computer difficulty for people that are just starting to play my team, this is too hard. If you want new people to come to the game, you cannot make something as simple as grinding these hard, long domination games actually difficult. You have to lower these difficulties. Yes, they made it all-star. It's still tough. Some new players will lose these games. If you want new players to come to your game and grind, you got to do that, okay? Not only that, while you're playing Domination, you do not get enough contracts to actually help your squad. Another thing, if you're grinding Domination and you're no money spent, you're new to the game, you have to spend MT that you hardly earn on these solos. You have to spend MT on contracts. That's another thing that makes no sense to me. So while you're playing these hard domination games, trying to get every scrap of MT you could get, you have to now spend your MT on players because you have no money for contracts. So domination, in my opinion, is literal trash. The only good reward you get is Elgin Baylor. And you need to literally sit there for hours and evil your card for Elgin Baylor for a pink diamond. And then literally, they just released the first pink diamond in nba 2k21 my team on the packs and it's for a hundred thousand mt now like i said packs suck so if you grind out 100k mt which isn't hard at least a week if you do like 10k mt per day in 10 days you will have your first pink diamond meanwhile it's a lot easier to snipe versus grinding these hard solos this all-time domination okay i had so much trouble with all-time domination this was no joke. This was some serious business right here. I lost a ton of games. I'm not the best at 2K, but I know for a fact I am really good against computers. These games, for new players, they're not going to beat it. Some people already stopped playing Domination. Why? George Mikan, man, he's slow as heck. He's not even that good, and he's, gonna be, he's already going to be outdated, man. There's already better centers than him in the game. So grinding all this Domination, then after you do every single one of these Dominations, man, you it's just it's bad 
Every single once you do all the dominations, which is ridiculously amount, it's like a hundred hours of grinding, maybe even more. You get a what's it called? After that, you end up getting Elgin Baylor a pink diamond after you Evo every single card. That is so every single card needs to be Evo, which is ridiculous. Then you get a pink dial Elgin Baylor. If you don't end up evoing him out within the next week or two or three, he's outdated. He's never going to be upgraded until later in the year, maybe. That's about it. So, pink diamond Mike and Rolando Black and Nick Van Axel, they're not worth it. They're not worth it at all. The only thing I can say that's worth about domination is the tokens. That is about it. Everything else, it's not worth your time. These historic dom challenges to get Rolando Blackman, they just released Paul George. He's 10 times better. So, my opinion man domination's not worth it tto tto is somewhat worth it you know why because there's not there's less contracts in it you do get pretty good rewards this is about the only game mode that i say is worth it and not only that once you get to 300 wins yeah these cards are outdated already but after 300 wins <clears throat> when the next season comes they're going to release more players so that's pretty good i would say tto is the only thing that's worth it unlimited okay this is the worst game mode ever okay as you can see i'm nine and five Last year, man, I went 12 and all multiple times. This year, not, I'm nine and five. My team's pretty good, but the unlimited gameplay is so trash. Okay, I lost a couple games by one, two, and three. I haven't lost more. I haven't lost by more than three. Okay, I'm not saying I'm the best player in the game. I'm saying I'm way better than what my record is. Okay, why did I lose, man? These kids, bro. They are making slightly early, like earlys, not even slightlys. The shot meter online is delayed okay i'm missing open shots because delayed but not only that kids are hitting whites and they're going in like terrible shots white trash shots not only that man online gameplay for some reason no matter what you do i don't know what it is but the corners are always open if you run a five out you're gonna win if you get christoph's Przingis and you run a five out your corners are always gonna be wide open it's my biggest pet peeve it's so impossible to cover they're always in the corner just sitting there and no one's going to cover it because defense is broken. If you hold X, you run into the crowd. There is literally minimal defense being played. Not only that, there's too many tip passes. If the ball's going right into your hands, why is that a tip pass? That should be a steal. That's number one. Unlimited gameplay is terrible. Not only that, the reward. You get pink diamond Paul Pierce. You got to get all the way to the Galaxy Oval tier. 70 games. 70 games to get a damn pink diamond that's about to be outdated it's not worth the grind you're playing 70 games of frustrating unlimited rewards this is just not it 2k it's not it okay that's number one okay it's just not worth it my team limited man honestly i find it fun not gonna say i don't but realistically man if you're winning a bunch of unlimited games i think you should get way better rewards you get packs the pack odds suck i missed week one Week two and week three, I went undefeated, man. I'm good at the game. I went undefeated with my limited squad. And um, hopefully we get another chance at the end. But uh, right now, all I got to say, man, pack odds are trash, okay? The new cards they released, Nate Archibald, man, Domination Grinder, outdated. Artist Gilmore, about to be outdated. These cards that I grinded hours for are outdated. And to me, it's really not fair. If you really think about it, it's not fair. Not only that, man xp rewards guys they're so garbage okay you first off you gotta evo these cards out to actually make them really good the evos are too long man they'll be outdated next week don't waste your time evoing these cards let's be real get it buy. if you want man buy mt bro it's a it's a better option not only that man you're grinding for curry yeah he's gonna be a beast don't get me wrong he's gonna be an animal do you understand how many hours of grinding you need to do to get this curry I'm at 24, man. I need 133,000 XP. I didn't even get that much XP. I'm not even close. I know some people are like level 36 and 37. Congrats to them, man. They're out here grinding. But me, man, I will not be touching these XPs. This Curry, man, he'll be outdated probably in a month. So by the time you get Curry in about a month or whatever, two weeks, three weeks, this Curry, man, he'll be outdated. So if you really grind and you really want Curry, good luck to you. I hope he doesn't get outdated, but I know for a fact... 2k will release a point guard maybe dame dollar very similar to this but um yo this video could go on and on i could talk about a lot of things difficulties the market i mean there's no market flow the packs they're dropping are just not it um they they made they, they there's an auction house glitch for instance there's no way to snipe they ruined sniping there's literally an auction house glitch where 
the players that got bought out are already bought out like this card oh that one's actually not a buyout surprisingly but for instance man ruby cards okay you're gonna see a ton of ruby cards that i cannot buy because these cards were already bought out hours ago okay the auction house glitch is ridiculous they still have not got rid of the glitch and it makes sniping broken too so pretty much they have taken away investments they take away a sniping they ruin the market the pack odds are trash domination's not worth it so what should you even be grinding right now i would say the market but there's an auction house glitch and honestly i love 2k don't get me wrong but there is a lot wrong right now guys there is a lot wrong and honestly if you can't see it if you think i'm negative i don't know man you gotta be crazy because the there is a lot going on right now there is a lot of mess ups in this game that need to be fixed as soon as possible but yo other than that man i'm sorry for the huge rant it, it's just had to be set it's just every single aspect in this game mode right now is just not it everything's just super off I just could go on and on. But other than that, man, hope you guys did enjoy the video. And one more thing. Collections, guys. Do not collect these. They're trash. 10 tokens. Nothing. That's not even enough for a Ruby player. Just saying. Do not get fooled. But, yo, other than that, man, hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. I hope we can all pray next gen is better. But this is... This is bad. This is really bad, man. Grinding is not worth it. But we will have some market talk after this. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.